Ah, so my name is Joseph Batista of Escobedon Filipino Martial Arts. We are located in San Francisco Bay Area. Cool. And how long have you been teaching Filipino martial arts? I've been teaching Filipino martial arts for 12 years. And how long have you been practicing Filipino martial arts? I've been practicing for 20. Right. So tell me, tell me about your journey. Like what, what started? Why FMA? So I actually started martial arts as a whole at the age of four. Um, started with Aikido, did that for a number of years, about eight years total. And Is that why you have the ponytail? Yeah, to be like Steven Seagal. Yeah, exactly. Right? And I even run like him too. Exactly. So, like a robot. <laughs> right? But in junior high, I started seeing a lot of fights. I started seeing a lot of boxers and wrestlers. And I actually grew up doing some wrestling, so that wasn't an issue there. But the boxers, like, hey, what am I supposed to do against a boxer? And so I stopped Aikido and started training in different arts. And every time I trained in different arts, there was always this void that I could never explain as to why it felt incomplete, right? It's always, oh, someone's gonna be bigger than me, or it's right. gonna be multiple people. Like, what do I do if I'm injured? Then, I got, then my stepfather introduced me to Filipino martial arts, and that was the answer that I was looking for without even knowing about it. So, what, okay, so now that you the answer, what was the question? The question was, how do I deal with multiple people, and how do I deal with people that are larger? And the answer that I found was the gunting. Right, the concept of the gunting, the concept of defanging the snake. Okay. Right, that was my answer that I was always looking for because it answered what to do if someone's a wrestler. It's like, well, if you take away their arms or legs, it's become harder for them to wrestle. If someone's bigger than you, you've started cutting off the road, so to speak, uh, and using weapons, eagling up the uh, atmosphere, then it made sense. Okay. So, um, so you did Aikido for how many years? Eight. Okay. And I'm sure you're not disparaging Aikido. Or, or anything to that level, um, but why do you feel that you were missing? What, were you, what? Why did you feel you were missing something with Aikido? I felt with Aikido, it didn't give me other options that FMA provided for me. Like what? Striking. Okay. The use of different weapons. Okay. As a tool for self-defense. Okay, so let's talk about the striking. What are the differences between the striking between Aikido and and FMA? So there's many different forms of Aikido. The kind of Aikido that I learned was we don't strike at all. Okay. So yeah. it's more of a defensive? Pure defense, okay. yeah. Okay, now what was the concept behind that? What was the, the thinking or philosophy behind that? So the founder of Aikido, or who we call Osensei, he saw a lot of war and death during this time frame. So Aikido actually means art of peace. So he wanted to be able to defend himself without having to kill anyone. So a very more of a pacifist. Yeah, yeah. Style of martial arts. Correct. Okay. So, so then, now that you're saying that FMA has striking, mm -hmm. do you feel that it's more of an aggressive style of FMA? No, I, I believe that FMA gives some of the, one of the most um, options to people. And I like, I like to explain it this way. FMA gives you three options. Mm -hmm. First option is a loved one getting overly aggressive for whatever reason, maybe too much time to eye, right? You don't want to poke them in the eye to get them back off, right? You put them down as nicely as possible. Right. Second option is a friend of a friend you don't like in the first place. You do want to give them a little love tap to let them know that, hey, I'm not messing around. Right. And then third option is you have a genuine fear for you or your loved ones. Right. And I, think, I believe FMA gives you all those three options, wow. with and without weapons. My name is Joseph Batista of Escobedon Filipino Martial Arts. You, you can find us at our website of www.escobedon.org. Uh, we also have a YouTube channel, a Twitter channel, Facebook. So just look up Escabo, E S. K, A, B as in boy, O, D as in dog, A, A, N as in Nancy, you'll find us.